Hi, Dana Abercrombie, The Coalition. Thank you Hi. both for speaking with me. I love this movie. And what I really loved was how unexpected I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be, you know, one tale, but it actually became something really heartwarming. So I was wondering, question for both of you. Um, it's kind of labeled as Marge and Jerry are scammers, but do you really view them as scammers or just people who use their intelligence? No, no, they're not scammers. That's so important that we want to get that across. Jerry and Marge are honest people. Jerry is just a math whiz and was looking at the rules of the lottery and found a flaw. So, you know, he was a retired guy. They'd been married their whole lives since high school. And Jerry, because he has this talent, picked up on the fact that every three weeks when they have the roll down, actually the num the chances that you're gonna win increase wildly if you bet enough. So it's really important to say that, that they weren't cheating. They, they played the lottery for 10 years, got their kids in, their grandkids, their friends, and over a 10 year period without hiding, made about $27 million for themselves and everybody else together. Wonderful. And also what I love, there was this moment that, uh, not to spoil anything, but there's this moment where uh, Brian Cranston, you say, kind of like, it, it felt like destiny, like in order to help the town. Um, and so I was wondering, do you feel that this was more of a destined moment for both of them, that they really, truly, by being retired, um, this was something that they was able to do by helping their town had it, things not gone the way that Jerry originally wanted because he wanted to stay on his job. Yeah, I think sometimes when we get disappointed because of life's um, uh, circumstances, we then if we take a pause and realize maybe this is what I was supposed to experience anyway. And certainly that was the case for Jerry and Marge is that they hadn't, they, this was not part of the plan. This came out of the blue for them. He, in fact, they never played the lottery before. It wasn't part of their life. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that Jerry saw within the, the structure of the game, uh, playing within the rules, uh, that he could uh, take advantage. There was a period of time that if you bet a certain amount of money to offset luck, they had the advantage. And it was, a little risky, he thought. I don't know. Well, I, it, it is mathematical, and so Marge was on board, and away they went. And it was it was a great adventure for them, an affirmation for their relationship, and great fun. Well, Excuse and Miss Cops are coming for me now. <laughs> uh, Miss Binning, I was wondering. One of the things that I really loved was that it, it showed the marriage being rekindled. So I was wondering for you, as Marge, can you kind of talk about how they found their togetherness by helping others and, and playing this lottery? Uh, I think that's true for them. I, although I will say, I think their relationship, the impression I got was that their relationship was always pretty solid. Jerry was out working, working very hard to rate, they raised six kids and Marge was an incredible mom. She was Marge the Sarge. That's what they called her. She was organized and cooked for all these kids and literally sewed their clothing. So at this point in their lives, the fact that this came up, like Brian was saying, was kind of a lark. It didn't change them. It didn't really change the way they lived their lives. Mm -hmm. They didn't move. They didn't even buy a new house. They just bought a truck. But it did um, affirm their connection and they did have a lot of fun. I mean, they loved getting in the car every three weeks, driving from Michigan to Massachusetts, buying a zillion tickets, sitting in a hotel room for days and days and days, going through the tickets, finding the ones that matched, and then getting the redeem, the, getting the check. <laughs> that <laughs> part was fun. Yeah. The, then, you know, and as, as I said, they're benefiting everybody. They're not just doing it for themselves. They're doing it for their, their friends in, in their town and, so they had a good time. They had a good time doing it. And it did, it did bond them in, an, in a new and different way. But they'd been together already a long time. They were retired by the time this started. Wonderful. Thank you both for speaking with me. I truly enjoyed the movie. Oh, we're so glad. Thank, Thank you. you.